Hi! The last two weeks were all about starting the new season of growing vegetables. We sowed the first crops, built a shelf for the baby plants and boxes to store the seeds in. The growing room is finally ready and we also got some trees for the land. We started to grow our first batch of tomatoes, chilies and peppers in mid-January. Some varieties begin to sprout just after a few days, others needed more time. We also started an experiment in which we put seeds in water and in soil. And we were blown away to see that the tomatoes in the soil grew way, way faster. So the sprouted seeds need to get in the soil. And let me say this, a lot of time and tea goes by because you need to touch every seed separately. Because Nini shouldn't have all the fun alone, we worked all together on the next big replant. This time we planted cabbage, eggplant and another batch of tomatoes. Having our lesson learned from last season, we planned a lot more this year and printed a calendar, so that our beds hopefully will be full. As the method with the grooves worked out very well for the tables in the planting room, we are repeating this for another rack. This rack will be placed on the windowsill. This will be on the south facing side of the house. If the plants are big enough, they will be placed into the planting room as well. The corners of the boards were sealed with silicon and the edges oiled to make them water resistant.
The idea here was to have a very simple setup, which can be dismantled very easy. As it just takes 8 screws to take this apart, we are rather pleased with the design. Do you remember the big construction task we had in the house just some days ago? No? Well, I do. And I always will. Because Nini used the leftovers of the oak floor to build something really cool. Until now, we were storing all the seeds in a big carpool box, without any sorting. Nini made a design, cut the floorboards to size and glued them together. They also added partition to make our chaotic lives easier. As you already have seen a lot of how I built those lamps in the last video, I will shorten this this time. I just finished up the second frame in the same way as I did it with the first. Off camera we oiled them and finished up the surfaces. Later that day, I was joined by Kata and Nini and we finished off some of the projects that you already have seen in this video. Nini was working on the side walls for the rack for the young plants, which we will put on the windowsill. Kata was managing the cables and putting them together for the second lamp and the first lamp. And I was cutting the support cables for the lamps to get them hung from the ceiling. As you already have seen the rack which we put on the windowsill for the young plants, here's a shot of the final result, what our grow room currently looks like. As this is one of the lessons learned from the last season, that our plants were too week when we planted them into the field. I really have high hopes that this room and the method that comes with it will change this season drastically. Thanks to a project that reached out to us, we got a lot of new trees.
In their wonderful food forest, a lot of young trees were too narrow together, so we were able to get some of those. Unfortunately, I forgot to film when we planted them into our food forest. Should you be interested to get some young trees of your own, I put their email address into the video description. And thanks to them, we have some new walnut trees, mirabelle plums, cherries, chestnuts, and most likely even one willow. Tanzen mit den Pflanzen. Aha, ja, ja. Upi dupa, upi dupa. You ready? Yeah. Yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> schon unser, unser Thumbnail. <lacht> Kannst du unter der Gliederlampe tanzen? Da hinten zwischen die Türen, auch zwischen die Tische. Yeah! Shake your glitter booty! Eine Lampe. Du bist schief. <lacht> <lacht>